Do you have a car? If yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Hi guys. Today I will make a quick review of Volkswagen Passat from 2005 to 2008 Xenon IFS headlight system. Especially I will focus later on swivel module position sensors and the associated issues with these sensors. Let's begin from the very beginning. Let me show you the parts, parts consisting of uh, Volkswagen Passat IFS headlight system. By the way, this all this information also applies to the Volkswagen Touareg from 2005 to 2007 by Xenon IFS headlights, which are with the black frames. Let me start uh, from the beginning. At the first place, we have level sensor. These are located at each side of the tires. Then we have headlight wrench adjustment control unit. This is not from the Volkswagen Passat, by the way. I just want to show it what, how it looks like. Then we have IFS modules, one for the left side and one for the right side. As in other videos I stated, these are sided, not interchangeable. Then we have wrench adjustment motor. This is vertically adjusting your beam level. Then we have dynamic, dynamic headlight motor, which is located under the projector, under the projector. This motor basically pull and push the headlight projector, depending on the steering wheel position. And then we have auxiliary H several simple H7 bulb when you are cornering. By the way, it also activates depending on your speed. And then at the end, you have swivel module position sensors at each headlights. Bad news, these are also sided as the IFS modules. The right and the left ones are different and are not interchangeable. Let me show you basically the location of the swivel module sensors, they are located next to the dynamic, dynamic motor. Let me remove the uh, dynamic motor in order to show you better. Yes, this is your dynamic headlight motor which pulls and push the projector and here here you can see is the location of the swivel module position sensor now let's continue with the swivel module position sensors these two guys are very has have a very crucial role in IFS headlight system Basically, they interact with various onboard control units at, in your car and in general and in particular with the steering wheel ang angle sensor, they are get, getting the data and passing this data to the IFS headlight modules. Once uh, once the IFS headlight modules receives the relevant data from the sensors, your IFS systems begins to work. So these sensors are very crucial. Without these sensors, the IFS modules do not know what to do. Basically, this is why when you have a sensor uh, fault, 
then uh, you have a complete IFS system failure. You will have an error message at your dashboard and you will have to check the fault and replace the faulty element. By the way, you, the only way to diagnose the swivel module position sensor uh, fault is to have it a proper diagnostic tool. Without proper diagnostic tool, basically you cannot understand whether these sensors are working or not. Uh, as stated, uh, they are not interchangeable. You cannot take from uh, the other headlight and put it to the other one. Uh, basically, uh, what you are doing with the ballast units to understand whether given ballast is faulty or not, you don't have such a chance. So you have to have a proper diagnostic tool. At the end, you will have two error codes if the, this one of these sensors are faulty. G474 is for, for the left one and G475 fault code is for the right sensor fault. As stated, uh, in short, you cannot, uh, you cannot just make a simple diagnosis by swapping them from each highlight to the other one. Why this, uh, the next point I want to make is uh, just to clarify why these uh, sensors fail. The most common reason why the sensors are failing is the moisture condensation or water ingress issues. If you have a, such an issue, then most probably as your ballast unit, your IFS modules, all of them are, risk, are at risk. And of course the sensors. These sensors are ba basically very small electronic circuits. So as any electronic circuits which handle a kind of a voltage, is very sensitive to a moisture. Although these are uh, basically hanged in the air next to the projector, still if you have a severe condensation issue or water ingress issue, they may get faulty. The other thing, the, if you have a lock, basically, although not very common, you have to check the connectors and the pins inside these sensors. Maybe you have a loose connection or some of these pins are deformed and not making the contact as they should. But as stated, mainly these get faulty due to the moisture and water ingress. Uh, and now what about swivel module position sensor repair? Unfortunately, you cannot repair them. Unfortunately, the bad news is that these are not sold separately by Volkswagen. These, in case of sensor fault, uh, normally you have to change the whole headlight assembly. Or you have to search for a donor headlight in order to take it from there. A donor headlight should be without any uh, moisture uh, condensation uh, marks, whatever. It should be dry headlight. Otherwise, you are just uh, risking to lose time and money. That's all I can say for the swivel module sensors. I hope this video helps. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you find it useful. If you dislike it, please feel free to write the reasons below in the comment sections of the video. That's all for now, guys. All the best. Bye for now.